what's up everybody so in today's video we are going to learn how to take a video and loop it in the background now if your internet is a little bit slow it may take a little bit of time to load up and uh, this is the demonstration of what we're going to be building right here so we have these boxes and we have this uh, title right here but behind it is the video that we input it into our application with this dude screaming unacceptable unacceptable <laughs> So let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a video to play in the background. Best for it to be under a minute. And uh, if you want to have audio with it, so do a .mp4 for video and audio. Alright, so go ahead and open up your code editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder. And I'm going to call it video. And inside of here I am going to put in the video that I downloaded right in there and I'm going to put it into uh, let's put it into features.js this basically has the four boxes so this file this this uh, page right here so it's going to be a very simple import I'm going to call power slap from dot slash video slash power slap dot mp4 cool I'm going to save that all right, so now let's import it into our app. So right inside of our div called class name app, I'm going to do a video tag. Whoops, not a video, a video tag. And inside of here, I'm gonna do a self-closing source tag. And for the source, I'm gonna do src is equal to power slap and a type. So our type is video slash mp4. So it's just video slash slash mp4 and right inside of the video tag I'm going to add a little bit of space and I'm going to do an auto play I'm going to do a loop and I'm going to do a muted and if we save that and we go back into our app we're going to see that it's appearing right there but let's actually expand it to the entire web page alright so what that is going to look like is inside of our video tag right here I'm going to add a style and inside of here, I'm going to do a position, let's do absolute. I'm going to do a width at 100%. And remember, this is taking account for also the nav bar itself. So it may be a little bit off for you. So you might want to just twinkle with the uh, CSS itself. But I'm going to do a left at 50%. I'm going to do a, whoops, a top at 50%, a height at 100%, a object fit, cover, transform, let's do translate, uh, negative 50%, negative 50%, and last but not least, we're going to do Z index at, uh, let's do negative one. And if we save that, we go back into our app, we'll see that it's expanded to the entire web page. Cool. So you might be wondering what this video is even about, or you probably aren't. I don't really care. I'm still going to show it to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this video tag and everything, and I'm going to put it into more d.js because there's nothing inside of here. And I'm going to also import the bad boy. So I'm going to copy this and import it right there. And if I go back, and go to more deets we have it right there so let's do not muted and I will shut up and y'all can look. one slap two half in other words you're gonna be there okay see so right away there's my jab there. boom there's my number one okay it's fast okay. then I can go for my elbow destruction the weapon comes up here you strike down to here and then you thrust here boom 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 into the weapon hand here and then into the throat then let that rifle down Okay, weapon comes up to the point, exposes the head, there's your power slap. Back again to the other side, follow through. Well, I really hope this video helped you guys out learn how to play videos in the background of your application. Um, I'm going to keep building onto this app. I don't know what I'm building. I don't know why I'm building this, but it's going to be it's gonna be real good. It's going to be real good in the end of it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.